Hi, my name is Randy Noble. I'm a Christian author and a human rights activist. And I want to share with you a book that I wrote about five years ago. Here's the, the book I wrote. It's called Prisoner of Her Culture, Sakina's Fight for Freedom. Now on the front cover, you'll notice a picture of a young Muslim woman in the shadows. She's kneeling on the beach in Pakistan during prayer time at around sunset. And it's the story of her life as an oppressed woman living in Pakistan, where women are treated as second-class citizens. They're the victims of forced marriages, acid attacks, honor killings, stonings. So many things that happen that are against this gender in Pakistan. As a young girl, Sakina grew up as a brick maker. She worked very difficult, long hours making bricks at a brick kiln every day for about 14 long, agonizing hours. Now, why did she do that? Her father owed a lot of money, and so he put his children to work, and Sakina had to work almost every day of the week. Fast forward about maybe 10 years later, and now victim of a forced marriage. That's right. Her father owes a lot of money. There's a local feud going on in the village where they live. And he owes money, so he arranges his daughter, Sakina, to get married and pay off the debt. And of course, you know, when she's married, she's abused. And she has a very difficult life living in Pakistan. Several years later, she and her husband, Kamal, migrate to the United States. Now here, Sakina would have a lot more freedom as a Muslim woman. That's to be known as a fact. But she's living with a very abusive husband. She goes to the university during the day, and that's when the double life of Sakina begins. She becomes a human rights activist for oppressed Muslim women. And she rents a very powerful film known as Honor Diaries. And during the film, there's stories of other Muslim women, still Muslims, but speaking out against the atrocities of the way women are treated. Sakina takes questions and answers at the university. But when she goes home, she changes back into her clothes, puts her hijab on, and becomes the submissive wife of Kamal. Why? She's hiding her secret life, but she's trying to, to do something very powerful for women. What is so significant about this novel, Prisoner of Her Culture, it's based on a true story. About six years ago, I met a young Muslim British Pakistani woman on Twitter. We became good friends, and she invited me to come to her university class one day while she showed a very powerful film like Honor Diaries, laying out the different stories of the oppression of women in Islam. We became very good friends, and I invited her to be a guest on my blog talk radio program, The Cross in the Desert, and she shared that she was under death threats from other Muslims at the university because like the story of Sakina in my book, she went home and became the submissive Muslim woman in her family. She shared with me that she had a husband living back in Pakistan, and one day he was coming to the United States when he got his visa clearance. And she said, you know, Randy, pray for me. He's abusive. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go take martial arts classes so that when he does come here, if he attacks me, I refuse to be another statistic. It wasn't long after that I never heard from her again. And I decided, you know, I have to do something in honor of my friend. And I wrote this story, which is semi-historical and semi, I guess, biographical. The story of the real person, Saba. Because like the character in my book, she led a double life, but she was speaking out for freedom for women that are under the oppressive thumb of men in Islam. I highly recommend this book, not just because I wrote it, because it's dedicated to a real person. 
I won't tell you everything that happens in Prisoner of Her Culture, other than to say it's graphic. There is some violent scenes. It's part true, part fictional, but the basis of this book is the basis of every book I write. It's a Christian worldview book. And so it's talking about a struggle and a fight for freedom. I really encourage you to read this to be educated on the treatment of women in the Middle East and in particular Islam. You can get this book, Prisoner of Her Culture, on Amazon in both paperback and Kindle. So thank you for letting me share this important story I wrote for, with, for you. And if you read it, I'd like for you to go up on Amazon and write a review. It's really been read very well on the free Amazon Kindle apps up there. Lots of people are reading it. So I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. God bless you. Have an incredible week. I will see you soon again.